legendary Rey Mysterio. San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. Arguably one of the most inspirational superstars we've ever seen accomplished everything in his career. Look who's here, the animal, Batista. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista. I cannot believe the WWE Universe's reaction to Batista. They've given him nothing but disrespect. You have to respect the animal. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to a brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Ooh. Batista bomb tonight. Painful would be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. Whoa, did you see what he just did? Incredible. There it is, the Uranagi. Kicked in the knee. Going for the double play with this move. Drop kick. He looks a bit off his game here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. And a savage clothesline. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Oh boy, he is rolling. And he executes an impressive head scissors. There's the backbreaker, guys. Drops the elbow. He's on the defensive here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. Enziguri surprises him with the Enziguri. There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. That one definitely hurt Cole.
Oh man, Batista's in trouble now. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Whoa! Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Look at this! I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Come on, get up that ladder. Let's go. You can do it. Incoming. A big leg drop. Really seems like Batista is in a world of hurt. No question about it. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Missile drop kick. And we're back to this form of attack. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Action like this. Look out! Oh, and he hits a magnificent Hurricane Rana. When this guy's on, look out. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. The clothesline finds the mark. And Rey Mysterio says, not this time. He's close to being done here. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. There it is, Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. That has got to be it. All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. He's making a statement here with this attack. Guys, there's a bullet there. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Both of these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Rey Mysterio looking for something big. There he goes again. 
This one is over. Rey Mysterio is rolling now. Rey Mysterio looking for... There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? The intensity of this match has been incredible. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Rey Mysterio looking for concentrating on the body here. This one's over, guys. Wow, the referee might want to think about stopping this match. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here. Look at this. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Not the uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Crushing it. He's making a statement here with this attack. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Rey Mysterio looking for... There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Here is your winner. Now that's eking out a win. Tonight, calling Batista the animal only makes sense if you're referring to a gerbil. Don't tell him I said that. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys. It's a Lucha House Party! Yeah! But we're all invited! And from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Lince Dorado! A former middle school math teacher turned a WWE superstar. Part of a pretty exciting group on 205 Live. You're talking about the loser house party? Indeed. It's called Lucha House Party. Pretty cool mask. So, Saxton, you're telling me this guy used to teach other people math? Yes. And why does he still use a litter box? You have some nerve. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Picture perfect drop kick. Lights up his chest with a chop. That could break a nose. He's starting to feel it here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. He just has to make sure this doesn't oh, get man. too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. 
That's what he wants to avoid here. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Just a ruthless power bomb right there. Drop kick to the knee. Ugh. He may have discovered his favorite move. And he lands a savage elbow. And he's heading back in. He's on the defensive now. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. Byron, knowing Rey Mysterio, the competitor, the way that you do, what would you say a superstar must do in order to be successful against him? Well, rule number one when taking on Rey Mysterio, in my opinion, would be to stay away from the ropes. If you know Rey Mysterio, you know that the rope is where he executes a great deal of his offense. He's focusing on the face now. What an amazing move. Playing dirty here. Well, Byron mentioned a lot of Mysterio's offense comes from utilizing the ropes. You got the West Coast pop, 619, dropping the dime. But Corey, how realistic is it to expect Mysterio's opponents to stay clear of the ropes? Well, if they want to win, it's very realistic. Just stay in the center of the ring and only veer from there when on the offensive. It's that easy. Oh boy, he is rolling. Mysterio looking for something big. There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drive kick right to the spine. He's taking some offense, but he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet anyway. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. This, he goes for the cover. Too close for cover. Can you believe this? Showing some quickness there. Over the years, Rey Mysterio has certainly developed a global following. And guys, it's amazing to see Lince Dorado may have it. Lince Dorado, this might be it. And there's the cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Not yet. He's going for it all. Lince Dorado may have it. Speaking again of Mysterio's training in Mexico, it's there that Mysterio really got in touch with his Lucha Libre roots and where he developed his undeniable style that wows audience. And here's Rey Mysterio looking for a pinfall. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow, I am impressed. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Oh boy, he is rolling. Unleashing it for the second time now. Here's his moment, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, Rey Mysterio's exploits in WWE have been well documented. Rey Mysterio, warm up the buses. This one's over. Just when you thought he had nothing left. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Rey. That's an impressive win right there. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that.
You ready for a Lucha House party? Yeah, I am. Byron, you know why Metalik wears that mask? Oh, why, Corey? In Mexico, he owes a lot of people a lot of money. I find that hard to believe. Byron, you should try it on. And from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalik. The king of the ropes, Grand Metalik is here, baby. Grand Metalik, otherwise known as the king of the ropes, one of the most exciting superstars in the cruiserweight division. As ugly as he is talented. Look, you, uh, enough, Corey. Come on. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Here it is. Going all the way up. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Down to the floor. He... Okay, earlier, Byron, you took us through the rules of a TLC match. Something to point out is that for TLC tag team matches, there are no traditional tag team match rules as far as tagging in and out with your partner. It's all team members in the ring at the same time, which used to be known as Texas Tornado Rules back in the day. TLC matches are fought under the premise of anything goes until it's time to climb the ladder and grab whatever's suspended over the ring. It's usually a championship. Since there are no rules, a superstar can do whatever they feel is necessary to reach the top of the ladder and climb straight to victory. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. Bringing it back between the ropes. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. He's got his eyes set on his chest. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Well, these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. And Rey Mysterio says, not this time. Toss to the outside. He, uh, all right. Back between the ropes. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. 
the winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible, whether you like it or not. There's the match right there. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. A very impressive victory. Well, he's back at NXT where he had his most success. Vamanos. And from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Sin Cara. One of the most exciting high-flying athletes in all... And we're underway with what will likely be a wild tables match. A strong takedown like that can show just how versatile a competitor can be. Plenty of force behind that elbow. Going for an encore here. When taking on Rey Mysterio, Corey, it seems most opponents have the same strategy, and that is to try and overpower him. I've noticed that too, Cole, but the thing is, you can't overpower somebody if you can't catch it. And with the way Mysterio bounces around the ring, he's almost impossible to catch. Byron Corey brings up a great point. Superstars may be able to overpower Mysterio, but they have to catch him first, which is easier said than done. Yeah, my advice to anybody taking on Mysterio would be if you get a hold of him, never let him go, because there's a good chance you won't get him again. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton. Oh, my God. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. That's an impressive win right there. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was. Riding in style. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Good. 
My grandfather taught me the mantra many years ago. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Eddie Guerrero is the embodiment of that, and that's why he's one of the all-time greats. Oozing charisma. Not many compare to Eddie Guerrero. There's the quickness and agility. When you look back at the history between Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero, one thing's are certain. It's been a roller coaster of emotions packed with plenty of ups and just as many downs. Boy, that's the truth. They've been everything from tag team champions, best of friends, bitter rivals, and everything in between. We've seen some amazing ladder matches over the years, and I'm willing to bet this one will rank right up there with some of the best. In a career filled with highlights, one of Rey Mysterio's shining moments, Byron, would have to be his victory in the 2006 Royal Rumble match. I co-signed that statement for sure, Michael, especially when you consider Mysterio entered that match in the number two position. Talk about beating the odds. But I guess that shouldn't surprise us. Mysterio has had a long history of beating the odds. The thing about Mysterio's Royal Rumble match victory that you guys mentioned is not only did he come in at number two, but he also had to last more than an hour just to be the last man standing. And even more impressive is the list of superstars Mysterio eliminated. Highlighted, of course, by Triple H and the man he eliminated last to win the whole thing, Randy Orton. He's looking at it here, guys. A victory just a few inches away. Doesn't appear to have a good handle on it. Reach, reach. If I can give one piece of advice to an opponent of Eddie Guerrero's, it's keep your eyes on Latino heat at all times. If Eddie disappears, you're in big trouble. And now he goes for it a second time. He clearly has confidence in that move. There we go again. Looks like Eddie Guerrero is off his game here. Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. Corey, you summed it up perfectly. I've announced enough Eddie Guerrero matches to say an opponent can't lose sight of Eddie for a split second. This is one of the few things I agree with both of you about. If an opponent loses track of Eddie Guerrero, Eddie can lie, cheat, and steal in seconds, and just like that, the match is over. And the knee connects. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. It's a long way. I have the honor of calling the action when Eddie Guerrero defeated Brock Lesnar to win the coveted WWE Championship. Eddie dug down deep and found that other gear to accomplish the unthinkable. The match at 2004's No Way Out was Eddie Guerrero's realization of a dream, Michael, to be recognized as the very best in sports entertainment, to also be WWE Champion. Eddie Guerrero is getting ready here. We're turning to Eddie Guerrero and winning the WWE Championship, fellas. There was some hijinks during the match, but I guess it wouldn't be. Rey Mysterio looking for... There it is. Rey Mysterio just put the exclamation point on this match. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Rey Mysterio is rolling now. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. Gonna try to win it right here. Looks to have a good grasp, but it's just not coming down. Oh, this has got to be frustrating. That's perfectly placed. And how you land the big strike. An elbow to the face. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Now we have, uh, this might end badly.
after decades in the sports entertainment business. I feel like we know Rey Mysterio fairly well, but Corey, there's still that element of mystery when it comes to Rey, isn't there? Ah, uh, yeah, that's because that mask he wears, Cole. I'm telling you, he's hiding something from us. I just know it. Why else would he wear that mask? Byron should wear one. Agreed. Hey. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. Strategy fell into place with that victory. There's nothing more... When you talk about power, you talk about this man. The following contest is a tables match. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, Bobby Lashley. One of the most impressive athletes ever to step foot in a WWE ring. A successful mixed martial artist. Lashley is finally back where he belongs in WWE. Well, to that point, Corey, this is a man in Bobby Lashley who spent 10 years away from WWE. But he came back because he felt like he had unfinished business. He felt like he had more he wanted to accomplish. And so far, Bobby Lashley is on the track. You know, Sami Zayn was once known as the underdog from the underground. Yeah, then he started hanging out with Kevin Owens and became the coward from the underground. Yep, bite your tongue, Saxton. Yep. Sami Zayn simply aligned himself with his best friend, and the two of them yep. have achieved incredible things in WWE. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, getting fired. Like uh, starting the yep movement. By yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep. Yeah, ripping off somebody else. Really creative. Yep. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional. Table in play. He made this table match one for the ages. Well, that one was over before it even started. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. And I assure you that it's not just the loser that will be feeling the effects of this tables match in the morning. Byron, I'm not going to ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias 
Negative, Ghost Rider. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability. But when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? When it comes from in the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. What actually? Takes him down with brute force there. No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Counter here. Oh, I think this man needs business. This is all but over. What if one move after the other? It's devastating. This might be the opportunity he needed. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Deliver. This is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. And he takes him down with a toss. Elias definitely in a tough spot now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. He's back in control of cover here. He kicks out before three. Oh, there's still a chance that we'll hear more from the Lions. Is it really that bad? When this guy's on, look out. Guys, for my money, Elias has to be the greatest musician slash athlete to ever compete. Here he goes. So damaging. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Game plan and... The monster among men is here! And weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! The earth is trembling with each step. Strowman's an absolute force of nature. Terrifyingly powerful. 
Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things slightly differently. I was there, too. But someone is going to get these hands. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. If you haven't hit record yet, Man. now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. So painful. Incredible. Surprises him with those kicks. He may have discovered his favorite move. Oh, back elbow. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Braun Strowman fans with some oh, reason to worry about here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. Ouch. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. This could end it in a hurry. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Perfectly executed, guys. Uh-oh. Look, he's just so dominant. What is Lashley twice as nice? Here's his chance to win this. Just as Root. Look at this. Oh, a kick out. Have to put in a little more work than that. Elbow drop. Big time. Going for it again. goes for it a second time. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you J.R. Jr., right? I've never heard that one. What does Lashley have? Oh, I think this man needs business. Here's his moment, Michael. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. He kicks out before three. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller big shot. Shoulders down, roll up. Pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Win every
good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just the guy. And at this point in his career, that is flat out undisputable. of WWE proudly feels that he carries this business on his broad shoulders and will continue to do so well into the future. Now Roman has that swagger. Roman has that confidence. And Roman has that message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can stop me, try. Yeah, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good. One of the most dominating superstars of recent era. You could oh. feel it. Superman punch! I knew it was only a matter of time. Now Roman Reigns needs to capitalize. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. He's on the defensive here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. And I'm sure a lot of people are expecting him to be the last man standing here tonight. And he very well may be. But right now, it's not looking so good for him. You never want to count a competitor out. But things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. And the beat goes on. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Not over yet. Did you see that? Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Back in the ring now. That's got to hurt. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Wow, elbow! Second time we're seeing this here. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. You can bet his joints will be aching after that. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Yeah, but we all know how tough he is, Cole. It's going to take a steamroll to keep him down to the 10 count. When this guy's on, look out. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of 10. This match ain't over yet. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing extremes to keep their opponents down for a 10 count. Oh, that's the truth. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Ooh, what an uppercut. Can he finish the job? Kick to the... Dropped by a clothesline. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. 
second time's a charm. How can Roman Reigns be put on the offensive quickly here? I'm not, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. No, he reverses it. Oh, oh the oh, That's going to hurt. Oh, boy, he is wrong. Look out, look out. This could be it. Put an exclamation point on a match. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. He will go on. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. Continue. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. And the beat goes on. Things are counter here. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Superstar's tank reaches empty first. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. What an assault on Roman Reigns. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. And this match is going to continue. Just an awesome shoulder tackle. He will go on. Too quick for him there. this one very closely. At any moment, he'll have to call this match if one of these combatants can't get up. Eight. 
And the beat goes on. Uh-oh, Roman Reigns saw that one come. He's making a statement here with this attack. Looking for the win. Assault on Roman Reigns. Oh man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. This grueling last man standing match has finally come to an end. battle that was. Hey, they both gave it their all. most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Brock Lesnar still enters every match Whoa. as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. Going after the back here. Nice. Shut it down. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. What's going on with the ladder here, Corey? <laughs> I have no idea. Do they need a map? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's starting to stumble here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment oh, and it man. cost him. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has oh. plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in it. Ouch.
It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry it all the way to next year's WrestleMania. But Brock Lesnar did that by winning the Universal Championship from Goldberg in 2017 and retaining it against Roman Reigns in 2018. Unleashing it for the second time now. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance in back-to-back -back WrestleManias. You have to go back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though both Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan won WWE Championships at WrestleMania and held the title until next year's show, both men were dethroned after one year on top. Brock's the only person in WrestleMania history to ever win the title one year hold it all 12 months, and then retain it. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He, okay. Energetic Sami Zayn brings his high-flying action to the ring here tonight. Man, my body hurts just thinking about the punishment one of these competitors is about to go through. He's been the heart and soul of it. Here it is. What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley. Without even breaking this... Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Plenty of force behind that strike. Kick to the gut. And now he goes for it a second time. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all. He's got the shoulders down. Not much behind that pin attempt. Not yet. What does Lashley have in store? I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's... 
He hits it. Lashley brings everyone to their feet. Nice. Shut it down. He hits it. Lashley brings everyone to their feet. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. And it's Elias making a move. Just brought the WWE Universe to its feet. Victory. He got body on body there, but that's about it. You have to put in a little more work than that. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Locked in. There may be no escaping this. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to oh, and he slips out. Wow, it looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Kick to the Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Elias in action here, and his in-ring skills have really caught up to his exceptional musical skills. Guys, what sort of strategy do you use against this sinister songsmith? Michael, you didn't mention that a lot of Elias' success has manifested due to his lack of honor in that ring. He's attacked opponents before the bell. He might have it. Corey, going back to Byron's point about Elias' greatest hits with that guitar, do you he may have discovered his favorite move? He might have just ended this. Uh-oh, this might be the end of Elias tonight. And maybe not. He hits it. Lashley brings everyone to their feet. This could be it, guys. No kicks out in time. Gonna take more than that. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Back in the ring again. No person could take much more of this. Elias is not looking good. You ever wonder how much longer he can go on like this? I'm not used to seeing this. Elias is in a bad spot here, guys, but we all know how quickly he can change his suit. He just can't hold one. So perhaps look at end it with that schoolboy out of nowhere. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? Wow, what's it going to take? He's targeting the midsection here. Kill ball to the heart. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. And it's reversed. He's going to have bruised ribs after that one. Big move coming. Wait for it. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. That has got to be it. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley.
Batten down the hatches. Here comes the monster among men. And weighing in at 385 pounds. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. The monster among men doesn't ask for permission, nor ask for forgiveness. He simply destroys... Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. silly asking this given that there is probably no good answer but Corey how do you beat Braun Strowman well you're right Cole that is a silly question because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman the best advice I would give I guess is try to chop him down to size Byron, Corey suggests trying to chop Braun Strowman down to size as a possible strategy against the Monster Among Men. What do you think? Would that strategy work against Strowman? Well, it's certainly worth a shot. If you take out Strowman's legs, then it becomes a mat game. I mean, you're probably going to get crushed, but maybe not as badly. from that toss, guys. Working the gut. Braun Strowman faltering some. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Let's oh, not man. get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. As you may remember, Kurt Angle actually fired Braun Strowman back in January of 2018. And guys, I can't help but wonder how different the WWE landscape would be if that firing actually stuck. He hits him with a nasty chop. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. On the topic of Strowman's temperament, and Braun Strowman nails it. He might have just ended this. This has been a war.
I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. <laughs> Got him with the elbow drop. <laughs> Kick to the gut. <laughs> At what point do those thoughts creep in of... What do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Wow, he just slammed him with ease. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Things are not looking very good right now. Going to have to find a way to regroup. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten in battle. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's making a statement here with this attack. The WWE Universe is chomping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Got the reversal. Strowman is feeling it right here. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Will he be victorious? I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. And there's his speed paying off. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. Oh, hellacious power slam. That's what he was looking for, Michael. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. What is keeping this competitor going? It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. It's just a matter of time now. But can Strowman follow up here? Nicely executed. But can Strowman follow up here? Braun Strowman has found a way to take charge of this match. Strowman is taking no prisoners right now. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. DDT! He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. 
He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's looking at it. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. But he's running on fumes. He's got him down. This is it. Two. Three. There's the pinfall. And the victory. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley. Wow. Huge pinfall win here tonight. I think he just put the entire WWE roster on notice with that victory. No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around. Competing in NXT when The Shield was running roughshod. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and this man, Roman Reigns. And we knew the future was bright, but no one quite expected Reigns to have the impact on the WWE Universe that he has since the NXT days. enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? I can't wait to see what the big dog Roman Reigns has in store. Superman punch! But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. Man, let the ref do his job. What impact. So punishing. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Roman Reigns on his heels. Oh, well, we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Well, if this is what keeps him down for the 10 count, he's nowhere near the man we all thought he was. He hits it! Lashley brings everyone to their feet! That changes the entire complexion of this match. Oh, man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. Six, seven, 
And the beat goes on. Kick to the... Come on. Let the ref do his job. Uh, he hits it. Lashley brings everyone to their feet. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. And this match is going to continue. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. And he comes crashing down. Got him with the power bomb. He's starting to stagger a bit, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Takes him down in a major way, too. A stop in the leg. Just nasty. Going for the double play with this move. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What does Lashley have in store? And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, but it works. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. Three, four. Kick to the gut. combination. No reason for that. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. A piercing strike. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. This match ain't over yet. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. People still buzzing about this superstar's last match, and with good reason. What an amazing contest. We will go on. Finished. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Not over yet. Drives him down with a Samoan drop. Here we go. We will go on. Drops him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. This match ain't over yet. Got the same move over and over. This is relentless. And he dodges out of the way. Right in the mouth. Relent enough already. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Down to the 
floor. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Back in the ring now. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. And just a sickening thud upon impact. Man, let the ref do his job. Come on. Let the ref do his job. That'll turn you around. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh, Roman Reigns saw that one coming. He's taking a lot of punishment. Reigns might not be able to come back from this. Roman Reigns seems helpless. He might have it. He hits it. Lashley brings everyone to their feet. What an assault on Roman Reigns. I and mean, that's twice now. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. He survived the brutality. What guts. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. The Beast! And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! The most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. You know, the night after WrestleMania back in 2015, Brock Lesnar F5'd me out of my shoes on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. You know what, Byron? It really made my career because you replaced me on play-by-play -play and the world realized how bad you were and how good I was on that night. So in a weird sort of way, I thank Brock Lesnar for that. That is kind of weird. But I've talked to a lot of superstars who have faced Brock Lesnar and there is one common denominator between them all. They say once you are... The man who beat the streak is prepared to strike again and annihilate his opponent. Whether it's the F5 or the Kamora lock, the result be the same. A crushing defeat at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. The only thing that would make this perfectly timed slam. Incredible. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar rolls his salt ever does. Look at this. Snap 
suplex. And set up with the knee now. A punishing axe handle. That's how you wear down your opponent. guys. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's yeah. not the case, though. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Comes up big with a reversal. Kick to the... This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Close line! What impact. Now it's Lesnar taking... Punishment. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Well, I don't expect this to be the nail in the coffin, but it definitely isn't ideal. If he wants to be able to climb the ladder, he's really going to have to minimize the effects of this attack. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. You never know. This could be it. Oh. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Go home. Putting some power on display with that takedown. You got to wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know if he is thinking. Here's Lesnar. This is not good. I think it goes without saying, but Byron, the keeper, any Brock Lesnar opponent is to avoid a trip to Suplex City. Uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, Michael. Big or small, Lesnar has set everybody he's been in the ring with to Suplex City. Let's take a look at the replay. That's highlight real material right there. All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. Byron brings up a good point about Suplex City. Lesnar has been able to suplex superstars of all sizes, including the massive Big Show. You're absolutely right, Paul. Nobody's immune to Suplex City. And for me, my favorite part is watching Paul Heyman count along with each and every suplex. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Making the climb here, guys. Oh. Can he unhook it? Oh. Gonna need a better grip on that. Yeah, no way that's coming down. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Pick punch. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish 
Christian. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. I think he's in shock right now. And by the sound of this crowd, great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. the ladder where it needs to be, but as we know, that's only half the battle. He's heading for higher ground to get away from you. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. looking good right now, but let me tell you, climbing that ladder at this point in the match is no easy task. And that's got to be aching now. Here's his moment, Michael. Going for the win here. Pulling something down from that height certainly ain't easy. Tell me about it. Byron, you shouldn't even be in the same arena as this man. Why not? The following contest is a gauntlet match. And from Palm Springs, Florida, weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3! Look at the physique on EC3. This guy's got muscles in places. Most people don't even have places. Talk about an incredible story. A superstar who left WWE years ago, reinvented himself. from every man's nightmare, weighing in at 250 pounds. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Drops the elbow on him. He may have discovered his favorite move. Unleashing it for the second time now. He clearly has 
has confidence in that move. Sting in a bad way here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Oh, my Lord. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Trouble in paradise. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. What should Sting try to do differently at this stage to remain viable? If he's not careful, this can... Oh. Incredible EC3 connected with a match-ending move. Can he finish the job? And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, EC3. A very decisive victory here tonight. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. He's back. The Olympic gold medalist, the multi-time world champion. multi-time world champion. He is the clothesline. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Second time we're seeing this here. Short arm shot. Drop kick. Beautiful. He's not looking like himself here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Well, at this point, I don't suspect he'll be putting this submission match on his highlight reel. I'm not going to go so far as to oh, say man. he can't whip. Uh oh, we're going to see it? Are we... This just ain't going to do it. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Drop kick. Great athleticism. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why.
The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. His chest may be black and blue after this. He's stumbling some now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Ouch. I know he's not looking very good right now, but I just can't imagine a scenario where he would submit. He just doesn't seem to know the word quick. for it a second time. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Here he goes. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Can he finish the job? Kurt Angle's chances just went from bad to worse. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Oh, I think this man needs business. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some superstars have the pressure's too much. They tap. Here is your winner, EC3. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. You know, nothing made me happier than when I'd lock in Lucky 13 and make my opponents tap out. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody... Wait for it. Wait for it. God, I love when he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. The leader of Undisputed Era. Well, listen, the truth is, Cole. Flags in with a clothesline. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you could show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Now back to the ring. Check his nose. Regardless of how you feel about the tactics employed by Adam Cole, the man's ability when the bell rings is incredible. You'll be hard-pressed to find a more versatile competitor anywhere. I'm shocked 
You finally got something right, Michael. The Panama City Playboy is a superb technician and can brawl with the best of them. Let's go back to Adam Cole's well-rounded skill set. He can fly, he can make you tap, he can knock you out, and with the Undisputed Era, he can execute a plan flawlessly. You have got to love it. It's all about Adam Cole in there, baby. Oh, here he goes again. Listen, anyone who is going to sign a contract to square off against Adam Cole needs to realize exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Cole calculates every move he makes in that ring. Oh, short arm shot. Way to hang on. I'm really looking forward to seeing Adam Cole in action tonight. But I've always wondered if Adam Cole is really related to you, Michael. Figure it out, Byron. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, EC3. A big singles victory here tonight. Great effort from both these guys, Mike. Johnny Wrestling. To be totally honest with you, a decade ago when I met Johnny Gargano in a VFW hall in Cleveland, I never imagined that he would grow into the superstar he is today. Johnny Gargano has made a career out of proving people like me dead wrong. Johnny Gargano was once a... Gargano has become one of the WWE's most cherished underdogs. Look for Johnny Wrestling to put on another great performance tonight. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Johnny Wrestling is hoping to show his opposition oh, just how he earned that nickname. Oh, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. Oh, you meant the wrestling part. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh, my Lord. And the strike connects. Check his nose. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. And there's another elbow drop. He's in a little bit of trouble now. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Incredible EC3 connected with a match ending move. But he's got to capitalize now. now. That hurts. That's what he was looking for, Michael. 
Oh, and he reverses it. There he goes, crashing to the... Yes! Takes it! Here is your winner, EC3! The bruising behemoth. And from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. Take a look at the size of Lars Sullivan. Everything about the mountain man from Denver is huge. Terrifying. Look at his skull. Look at his fists. They don't make people like this. I have never seen anyone who just looks consistently in a foul mood like Lars Sullivan. I've never seen anyone like Lars Sullivan, period. The guy was created in a laboratory. He's not a human being. I refuse to believe it. Yeah, he's the Frankenstein at WWE. There's no doubt about that. What a sight to behold. Freakish strength and well, freakish intelligence, too. Utter dominance for this man. He delivers a hard clothesline. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. between the ropes. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. That'll rearrange your face. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Goes down hard. Drop. Elbow drop! He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight. That lands. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Can Sullivan actually pull through? Don't count him out yet. Incredible EC3 connected with a match ending move. He's got his eyes set on his chest. He started this match in great health, but now it seems fatigue has set in. 
Lars Sullivan is one move away from a comeback. And the scary part is, it might be another move from his opponent that makes him snap. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. There's a bullet there. And he hits the knee lift. I think I heard something crack after that knee to the chops. Elbow drop. Oh boy, he is rolling. Driven down with such power, guys. He's looking at it. Great move. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Here he goes. He's inflicting some serious pain here. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Whoa, Sullivan really dodged that one. Quick for him there. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. Lands a quick punch. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking. Ooh. Now it's time to capitalize. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That strike definitely found its target. This is dangerous right here. Whoa. He sent really with the knee drop. Taken to the chest here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Real performance. Here is your winner, EC3. Big singles win here, guys. The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly 
Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And her opponent from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Byron, I would love to see you interview Sonia Deville so she could punch you right in the mouth. I wouldn't enjoy that at all. Sonya Deville is as bad as they come. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. I see where she's going with this. Ronda Rousey's done playing. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Incredible. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. I knew it was only a matter of time. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. She's almost out of it. Whoa. Takes her off her feet with a tackle. in the ring. Very interesting game plan here. And she's back in the ring now. She's got something in mind. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. The kick connects. She's starting to falter here. Her opponent clearly has her number here. She's no pushover, though, guys. If she's going down, she's going to go down swinging. When you look at this, simply amazing. It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time.
I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Ronda Rousey. This is all but over. Shoulders on the back. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Now that's a takedown. Sonya Deville has been roughed up pretty hard here. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. Well, the good news for her is that it appears... Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Game, set, match, this one is over. The pain's too great. They tapped out. That's the match. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet. On the rise, and what will be a tremendous career, here comes Peyton Royce. And her opponent, from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Close quarters, a punishing strike. Ernie finds the mark. The kick gets her. This is not where she wants to be. She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive here. Looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. Oh. And now she's paying for it. Well, she really can't afford to take on too much more damage and still be able to execute effectively in there. Looking to take out the arm here. Oh, and a knee. And another endless knee strikes. Just 
just a giant blow to the jaw. And she's driven to the mat hard. And Peyton Royce is fading fast here, guys. It doesn't seem to be her night tonight, fellas. This is all but over. The human body can only absorb so much of that. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Where is she finding the strength to continue? She just will not give up, Cole. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Yes! Takes it! Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! It's all over, and Ronda Rousey stands victorious. We talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if... A superstar that wouldn't look out of place on the roof of the Sistine Chapel. A real work of art. God's greatest creation. I wouldn't be able to tell. My monitor's all blurry. Can we get tech support out here or something? Physical prowess and brash attitude required to be a true superstar in WWE. Corey, she's 5'4", but she can lift 225 pounds! I didn't hear a word you just said, Michael Cole. I heard it. That's impressive. She sure loves herself. If I looked like her, I'd love myself, too. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. It always amazes me the amount of punishment these competitors are willing to go through in order to win a TLC match. Look out! Mandy Rose has been called by Corey God's greatest creation. You're the only one, Corey, who calls her that. Why does she have that nickname? Hmm. Let me think, Michael Cole. Probably because I have functioning eyeballs. Take a look at Mandy Rose. The creator of the universe spared no expense when crafting the masterpiece known as Mandy Rose. The two of you were discussing why Mandy Rose is, quote-unquote, God's greatest creation. And I have to say, she is pretty and a great performer. But is it possible? I don't know. You're exaggerating, Corey? I am not exaggerating in the slightest, Saxton. Mandy Rose is the most talented and beautiful performer I have ever seen. As a matter of fact, the two of you aren't even worthy of viewing Her Majesty. It'd be like staring directly into the sun. All right, listen up, morons. Especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys? Yes! Unreal performance! Here is your winner...
One half of the Australian duo known as the Iconics. And her opponent from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Beautiful and dangerous, Billy Kay. Billy Kay Byron wouldn't allow you to breathe the same air she does. Who said I want to hang out with her? It's not really an option, Saxton. Billy Kay exists in a whole world you know nothing about. A world of beauty, a world of danger. Yeah, how about a world of lies and deceit? Billy Kay and her best friend, Peyton Royce have taken WWE by storm. is underway and in this one I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you yeah. can do. The only thing that would make this oh, match man. more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without YouTube both. That's it. It's over. It's over. This is all but over. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Taken down with authority. Whether it's in a ring, an octagon, or on the big screen, Ronda Rousey has truly embodied her nickname, the baddest woman on the planet. And that's a title she puts on the line every time she fights. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. The knee lands. Byron touched on Ronda Rousey's nickname as the baddest woman on the planet. Her Olympic, MMA, and WWE careers certainly support the name that the public gave her, but it does put a huge target on her back. Yeah, but Rousey welcomes any challenge, Cole. 15 consecutive oh. MMA victories, all by submission or knockout, all but one concluding in the first round, and she's continued that dominance in WWE. Any woman who wants to challenge Ronda's moniker has more guts than brains. Move going for the stretch. Right to the face. Starting to feel the pressure. Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. Oh, I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. And set up. And the knee delivers. She got her with a reversal. finds the mark. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. Here's the cover. This one's not over yet. She's still in this one. Ronda Rousey's done playing. You gotta believe this one's over. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. This is not good. I don't think Billy Kay knows where she is. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Wow, that tap came quick and often. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent.
We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing... Look who's in her house. And her opponent from Norwich, England, Paige. From the start, Paige dared to be different. Paige dared to stand out, and she has benefited from that mindset. Guys, remember on Raw a few years ago when Paige made her WWE debut and won the Women's Championship? A truly unforgettable night, not only for Paige, but the entire WWE Universe. Paige has revolutionized the game since that very night. And it was that night where we began the transformation from the... Two-time Divas Champion Paige hears the bell and is on the move. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Got her good with a kick. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Paige is starting to slow a little bit. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. I know she's incredibly confident in her submission skills, and rightfully so. But if she can't get back on the offensive here, it's going to be a long night for her. This is bad, guys. This match has been trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. Finds the mark. What is Paige's best strategy at this point? She doesn't want to let this get out of control, guys. This type of match is not just brutal on your body, but your ego, too. Actually having to submit to your opponent is one of the most humiliating things a competitor can do. And if this keeps up, she might just have to do that. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Nicely done. That has got to be it. Paige is in trouble. Wanda Rousey's done playing. She is solely focused on that arm. I don't see Paige coming back from that one. Nobody on the roster stretches an opponent quite as effectively. Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 270 pounds, Driving forces behind WCW success. Former WCW champion. A man who absolutely bleeds intensity. Beyond the WCW championship, Goldberg's a two-time United States champion. One-time WCW tag team champion. Oh, and by the way, a WWE universal champion. In fact, you go back to WCW Road Wild in 1998, where Goldberg defeated eight members of the NWO in a battle royal. That was back when pretty much everybody in WCW was in the NWO. You know what, Byron? They wouldn't let you in either. Hey, Byron, you know what Heath Slater is and you aren't? What's that? Cool. That wasn't very nice. And from Pineville, West Virginia, weighing in at 216 pounds, Heath Slater. I wouldn't mind being Heath Slater for a day. I wouldn't mind you being him either. I think he can upgrade to a double wide now. <laughs> He's got kids, baby. And he needs this job. And I think he's going to have one for a long time because he's on top of the world. Taking the boots to him. If you're on the other side of that ring against Goldberg, expect the WCW legend to come out of the gate with an onslaught of offense. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. No one has been as dominant in that ring as Goldberg. His WCW streak was legendary, but he can still defeat any competitor in a matter of seconds. Well, Goldberg became WCW champion in 1998 and WWE Universal champion in 2017. No matter what the decade, Goldberg gets it done. Setting him up. Using his knee now. Oh, and he hits the axe handle. Twice as nice. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. Goldberg is looking to end this right now. Lightning fast reflexes. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Heath Slater beginning to look a little tired. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Yet another axe handle. Tapped into an energy source. Go for the spin! But he's got to capitalize. Shoulders on the mat. Yes! Goldberg takes it! Here is your winner, Goldberg! Extremely impressive win, guys. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years, including this one.
What a huge man. And Stakes the weight, baby. Stakes the weight. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis Dozabek. You know, I tried having a conversation with this guy earlier, but I don't speak meathead. Oh, don't worry, Corey. I can teach you. Otis Dozovic is as wide as he is tall. Otis Dozovic is fired up. I like it. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And Cole, I will be shocked if we don't oh, see man. this one spill out to the arena floor sooner rather than later. No one has been as dominant in that ring as Goldberg. His WCW streak was legendary, but he can still defeat any competitor in a matter of seconds. Well, Goldberg became WCW champion in 1998 and WWE Universal champion in 2017. No matter what the decade, Goldberg gets it done. He's trying to mangle his face here. He's starting to feel it here, but not for Goldberg with a spear! This is all but over. His shoulders are down. And they kick out at two. That's too early for that. Goldberg's up. Wow, what a move by Goldberg. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. Oh, oh it's over. Down with the jackhammer. Going to the cover. Yes, Goldberg takes it. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. Columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years, including this one. It's time for a perfect 10. Come on, Corey, put your hands up. 10, 10, 10, 10. And from Niagara Falls, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. than Ty Dillinger. Look, Corey, if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't see yourself as a perfect 10, nobody else will. It gives you something to strive for in life. You should try it. Byron, you realize you're advocating for egomaniacal. I'm advocating for someone to be better than they were yesterday. And he lands the big boot. Both superstars coming to this matchup with a lot to prove. If this is anything like TLC matches of the past, you can expect an unbelievable amount of carnage left in the weight. No one has been as dominant in that ring as Goldberg. 
His WCW streak was legendary, but he can still defeat any competitor in a matter of seconds. Oh, Goldberg became WCW champion in 1998 and WWE Universal champion in 2017. No matter what the decade, Goldberg gets it done. The force on that impact was unreal, guys. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Ty Dillinger's starting to look a little dazed. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Oh, this is nothing, Cole. You don't compete in a TLC match without collecting a few bruises. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. He, uh, all right. I guess he, uh... TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating the match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the apex predator. Yes! Takes it! Here is your winner, Goldberg! A very impressive victory for Goldberg. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. <laughs> Get out your selfie sticks, guys! And from seasonal residences, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Free! You know, Tyler Breeze might be a little unusual, but I gotta give him props. You know, those boots are authentic Peruvian chinchilla. He owns many homes around the world. Tyler Breeze, very accomplished superstar here in WWE, teaming with Fandango to form the uh, Fashion Police. You know, guys, Breeze flew here on a private jet direct from Milan just to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. Oh, what a nice guy. Maybe he could give you some fashion tips, Byron. Byron, you're an uggo. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's not cool. Why would you say something like that? Because it's true. I have sources. You have lies.
This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking yeah. forward to this one for quite some time. No one has been as dominant in that ring as Colbert. His WCW streak was legendary, but he can still defeat any competitor in a matter of seconds. Well, Goldberg became WCW champion in 1998 and WWE Universal champion in 2017. No matter what the decade, Goldberg gets it done. Discovered his favorite move. The Goldberg with a spear! I'm not sure how much he has. He's going for the pin. This singles contest has a victor. Here is your winner. It's a win here tonight for Goldberg. I think it may be time to start counting again. With a win like that, Goldberg may be embarking. He's a great in-ring performer. He's a tremendous dancer. He gets the WWE Universe involved, and he's also a part of the fashion police. He's like a resident MacGyver. You realize just because you wear a badge doesn't make you a cop, right? He's no a... more than putting chicken feathers in your ear makes you a chicken, Byron. Or, Byron, just you sitting here at the announce desk doesn't make you an announcer. You know what? You guys aren't going to cram my style. I'm fond dongling like it's 1999. You can't cramp something that doesn't exist. Huh? 1999? Well, it's a play on words. No matter how you feel about the personality of Fondango, he is one of the most talented superstars. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. No one has been as dominant in that ring as Goldberg. His WCW streak was legendary, but he can still defeat any competitor in a matter of seconds. Well, Goldberg became WCW champion in 1998 and WWE Universal champion in 2017. No matter what the decade, Goldberg gets it done. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Enough already. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. And now he goes for it a second time. Tapped into an energy source, and he's going strong. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Yeah. 
There he goes again. Goldberg is looking golden right now. Hard to oh, Goldberg with a spear. He's back in control. He's got him covered. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner, Goldberg! A very impressive victory for Goldberg. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. Columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years, including this one.